What's going on YouTube? Justin here, aka Goofy Skating Lifestyle, back at it again with another video. Today, I'm going to bring you guys along and show you how to engage your 4x4 system on a 1992-1997 through 1997 Ford F-250. Let's go to the truck and I'll show you. Alright guys, so when you get out to the truck, this is the first step I'm going to do before starting up the truck. Showing you guys what to do on the inside. You go down to your front wheels. You got your hubs right here. It's in free and lock position. Two wheel drive, you want it in free. Four wheel drive, you want it in lock. So in order to twist to lock, you want it to go clockwise. So there is your locked position. This would be free. Lock, free. You want it in lock on both sides. And then uh, let me warm up my truck and we'll go from there. So with the locking hubs, I just wanna be sure to clarify, make sure when you're not using four by four at all and you are wanting to strictly use two wheel drive and you're done with the winter, make sure you free those hubs back up or if you're going over 55 miles an hour or anywhere long distance, free them hubs up because locking those hubs, it's gonna make it tighter, it's gonna make it heat up too much, and it's gonna blow out your wheel bearings or whatever later on. You don't want that stuff. All right, I've had the block heater plugged in for about half an hour. Clearly it's working, the wire is hot. All right, just getting into the truck here. Give you guys a little cold start. This is the first time also testing and running the block heater this year. So let's see if the block heater worked in 30 minutes. Yeah, I should wait up to two hours or so, but it should be warm enough to where it's warmed up the block and whatnot. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go up the cycle. Alright guys, so the truck is still at high idle, but I'm going to show you guys how to engage it. So make sure you're at a complete stop, you're in neutral. You could probably switch it out of four wheel into two wheel while you're in neutral rolling at a low speed. I wouldn't recommend doing that, I'd recommend doing all of this at a full stop. So here is your gear selector for your two wheel, four wheel high neutral and four low. So right now we're at two wheel high. To get the four high, you just wanna pull it back just to one. Four by four light should come on if your truck is still nice enough to have that. These trucks are a little older, so sometimes that light will not come on. Make sure you check if that works though, because that's one way to know if it actually is engaging or not. Now we're back in two wheel. Four wheel, you'll feel a little notch when you pull it back. That is four wheel high. When you go back all the way, that is four low. That right there should be neutral. And that's two, four high to two wheel high. So that's neutral. You can hear it engage. Making a bunch of clunking. So that's four. This is four low here, all the way back. That should be neutral. Back to a high, four high, two high, or two high. So you want it four high for any speeds over, I'd say probably 10, 15 miles an hour. So when you're in four high and these trucks, if you have 410 gears like mine, you're probably not gonna wanna go over 45. Even 45 and four high is kind of pushing it in these trucks. With 410 gears and a 5 CF 5 speed, probably not the best to do for long distances. Four low, you're probably going to want to go only a maximum of 10 15 miles an hour. Probably not good to go anywhere past that. But um, that is how to engage it. Probably going to uh, start this video up again once I start driving it with four wheel high on so you can see what it's like. Realistically, I'm going to have the phone facing my face. So it won't really show much, but that's how we'll, that's how we'll do it here. All right. Four high. 
Orwell High. switch the camera around to me on the phone mount just so I'm not distracted when I'm driving. One way you can tell if your 4x4 is engaged also is turning. You're going to have way less turn radius. So 4x4, way less turn radius. You'll feel a lot more torque when starting out. So you'll have to uh, find ways to turn less hard if you're taking a U-turn or whatever, you're not going to be able to probably do it unless you're engaged in two-wheel drive. That is it for today's video. This was how to put your 1992 through 1997 OBS F250 into 4x4. I hope you all are enjoying the video so far. And until the next one, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.